Good evening, it's Facebook Love. How are you? It's almost dinner. Been uh, just kind of at it all day today, just working. Um, I've been experimenting with consuming a lot less news because it's been hurting my heart too much. And um, what I notice is while I feel less emotional, I'm still, um, I'm still disillusioned and sad about uh, what's going on. There are so many people becoming ill. I feel like every day I know of three or four more people that are part of my own circle or, you know, one degree separated from my own circle who are ill. Um, so that's rough. And uh, I find myself having a lot of prayerful thoughts and uh, remembering important things like, uh, I believe it was Margaret Mead, the anthropologist, who said that the only thing that's ever changed the world is a small group of committed people. And if we want the world to be better, we have to do it ourselves. No matter how big the big world feels or how powerless we feel. So I just look for some things that spoke to the sense of feeling out of control and, and not quite knowing what to do and trying to find our way. Um, looking for a light spot and stepping into it. So that's what I have today. I've got a, a couple pieces. This one is by a poet named Jamal May, and the poem is called Respiration. I get awfully um, focused on breath between yoga practice and singing, so this one really spoke to me. Respiration by Jamal May. A lot of it lives in the trachea, you know, but not so much that you won't need more muscle. The diaphragm, a fist clenching at the bottom. Inhale. So many of us are breathless, you know, like me, kneeling to collect the pottery shards of a house plant my elbow has nudged into oblivion. What if I sigh? and the black earth beneath me scatters like insects running from my breath. Am I a god then? Am I insane because I worry about the disassembling of earth regularly? I walk more softly now into gardens or up the steps of old houses with impatience stuffed in their window boxes when it's you standing there with a letter or, vi or voice or face full of solemn news, will you hold your breath before you knock? Respiration by Jamal May. Fairly new, 2016. The second piece I want to see what year she wrote it. This is fairly new as well. This is from 1995. Uh, from a book of collected poems by Adrian Rich. What kind of times are these? There's a place between two stands of trees where the grass grows uphill and the old revolutionary road breaks off into shadows near a meeting house abandoned by the persecuted who disappeared into those shadows. I've walked there picking mushrooms at the edge of dread. But don't be fooled. This isn't a Russian poem. This is not somewhere else but here our country moving closer to its own truth and dread, its own ways of making people 
disappear. I won't tell you where the place is, the dark mesh of the woods meeting the unmarked strip of light, ghost-ridden crossroads, leaf-mold paradise. I know already who wants to buy it, sell it, make it disappear. And I won't tell you where it is, so why do I tell you anything? Because you still listen. Because in times like these, to have you listen at all, it's necessary to talk about trees. What Kind of Times Are These? by Adrian Rich. I'm prone to thinking way too much. It is uh, a blessing and a curse. It seems that writers and musicians, who are the people I know best as well as actors and dancers, um, we tend to suffer from too much thought and too much emotion. And when we are making art, it, uh, it calms that busy emotional brain. Um, I've always been uh, overwhelmed and hurt by injustice and by, by what looks like cruelty and, and usually is. Um, and when I was younger, I was much more likely to um, sort of soften my response, like, oh, well, maybe they don't really know, and they must be educated and told to do better. Uh, and now I think that I've become a little callous, that if somebody's doing something cruel, it is cruel. If people are being callous, they are callous. If they show us who they are, that's who they are. And um, I reject it. I reject cruelty. And we must continue to press back against any, any move that makes regular people like us less than. So I give you that kind of love today. This is Facebook Love. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.